What's going on, everybody? Riddles here, back again. This is the Riddle Me This podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's video. It is Monday afternoon, about 12.30, my time. And I wanted to come on here and do this video um, for the homie Damian Quinn, uh, one half of the group Dark Half on LSP Lyrical Snuff Productions. And I wanted to give my thoughts and a little review on Damien Quinn's new album that just dropped a few days ago entitled Disorder. Um, which, if you are a Dark Half fan, of, there is a song on their album Chapters entitled Disorder. Also, uh, Gino Coltshit uh, had a tattoo which said Disorder um, on his body. So... That's where the uh, inspiration and the title for the album came from. Um, this album features uh, Smalls One, the ROC, Triz, um, Saw the Ghost, uh, and even Gino Coltshit himself makes a couple of appearances on this album. Um, this album also... Uh, course features references of Ed Gein, Jerry Brudos, and Sam McBride. Um, there's, and there's also a different mix of styles on here from hip-hop to almost like indie rock in a way, um, and even into, uh, there's some songs on here that are like crossover thrash, punk rock kind of feel. Um, so a, a different mix of styles of music that went into this. Um, you know, in, in a lot of ways, I think this was Damien's therapy. This was the this was the album that he needed to really get everything out that he wanted to get out and so desperately needed to get out. Um, you know, since, since Gino passed away a few years ago, Damien has not really been the, you know, the same. And, you know, I think this album really helped him get out a lot of that pain and a lot of that sadness and aggression that he had and anger. Um, some of the tracks on here that really stand out to me, there's one in particular that I really want to get into and touch on, well two that I want to get in and touch on. Um, but uh, some tracks that stand out for me on here of uh, the the first track, Gein, just kind of like a little intro uh, to the album. Uh, he throws a shot in here at Tyler the Creator, which really his past, you know, maybe two or three albums, I can't really blame him for, you know, throwing some shade at Tyler. Um, but I do like older Tyler the Creator, like uh, Bastard and Goblin era Tyler the Creator, but. Yeah, he threw a shot at Tyler, the creator, in this one. Um, he also claims to be, um, somewhere down the line, uh, the long-lost son of Ed Gein, which I, I, I got a chuckle out of. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, Jerry Brudos, um, this was probably one of my favorites on here, uh, was something about the uh, the melody of the song and the auto tune that really grabbed me. I really did enjoy that one. I like that one. Um, the gore featuring Salt of Ghost. I like that one. Uh, the beat on that one was fucking off the hook. Um, the Dead Room with Triz and ROC. Of course, ROC is one of my favorite MCs of all time in the underground, and Triz, you know, what, what can I say about Triz? Triz is a talented, 
motherfucker in his own right. Um, ROC and Triz together on a track with Damien Quinn. They fucking killed it. Um, Don't Belong featuring Smalls One. Um, with Smalls One uh, singing on the hook. And then she had a verse where she, some, uh, a verse where she was rapping. Um, another one of my favorites. The... The last two tracks on the album. Now, like like I I stated, this was Damien's therapy. This was his chance to get it all out and lay it all out on the table. The single for this album that he released, 2806 4212. The song basically goes through of uh, Damien's mental breakdown, and he finally he finally goes through with the decision to go to the cemetery and dig up the casket of Gino Cult shit. And when he does, he has this spell book that Razakel had given him. Shout out to Razakel, by the way. Um, and he opens the spell book to a certain page and then plays an audio recording from the Evil Dead and just lets it play. And then... At the very end of the track, you hear that signature, hey yo" from Gino, and you want to talk about, like, goosebumps. Man, I, I've got them now. Um, and I would be, I would be lying to you if I didn't shed a tear in that moment. Um, and then it goes into... Uh, Don't Care What They Think, which featured Gino on the hook singing uh, a great way to end the album. Um, you know, it was kind of a softer, deeper meaning kind of a track. Um, but, you know, there's there's going to be people, you know, hopefully a majority of the people that understand what Damien was trying to do with this track. And then there's going to be the people who say, you know, it was too much, you went too far, it was offensive, etc. But you got to understand, Damien and Gino were like brothers. And when Gino died, I think a big part of Damien died with him. And, you know, and for him to, you know write something like this and put something together like this. I have no doubt in my mind that Gino was watching <laughs> and smiling ear to ear as this was being written, recorded, and uh, put out. So, you know, I think Gino, you know, from from beyond the grave really gave Damien the blessing to do this and put it out there, um, you know, and it turned out wonderful, it turned out beautiful, and those last two tracks were absolutely amazing, like, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps now just reliving it, um, yeah, uh, this this album is absolutely amazing. If you don't have it and you are a Dark Half, Gino, Damien fan, get a copy of this album. Uh, it's available both digital and physical copies. So, uh, I will leave links in the description where you can get actual physical copies of this album. Um... So, yeah, go and check it out. It's definitely worth it. Definitely worth your time and the money. Support the movement. Support the cult shit. Um, 
and let's keep this thing going. So, much love to Damien Quinn and everybody involved with the making of this album. It was great. I loved it. Um, and I can't wait to hear that new and final Dark Half album when it drops. So, that is it for now, everybody. Uh, my phone's about to kick me off. <laughs> but, um, thank you so much for watching. I'm Riddles. Peace out. Until next time. Have a great day, and I will talk to you later.